In this video, we will deal with work in thermodynamic processes and we will also deal with the first law of thermodynamics. Now before starting, let us clear our mind of something. When you have a piston like this and they tell you that the work done is by the gas. When they tell you the work is done by the gas, then the work done will be positive. But when you have a piston, the same piston like this, and they tell you that the work done is done on the gas, then there are two conditions, or there are two states. When it is compressed, it is positive. But when it is expanded, it is negative. So when you have a piston like this, and uh, you increase the amount here, this means that it has been ex expanded. And when you take it down here like this, then it means that it has been compressed and the volume of the gas will reduce. This means the work done will be positive. Now let us see question number one. Sketch a PV diagram of the following processes. A gas expands at constant pressure P1 from volume 1 to volume 2. It is then kept at cost constant value while the pressure is reduced to P2. They want us here to sketch the pressure and volume diagram. Now we can say that we have here volume 1 and here volume 2. And let us say you have here pressure 1 or pressure. Just let's say we have here pressure. So what happens to the gas at A? It expands at constant pressure 1. So it expands at pressure 1. So let us call this pressure 1. It expands from volume 1 to volume 2. So we have here the gas expanding from pressure 1 constant from volume 1 to volume 2. then it is then kept at constant volume while the pressure is reduced so at constant volume the pressure is reduced the pressure is reduced to p2 so this here we will call p2 now for parts b this is a for parts b we will do the same things so we'll have here a PV diagram, we'll have volume 1, we'll have volume 2. Here we'll have pressure 2, here we'll have pressure 1. What are they saying? The gas is reduced from pressure 1 to 2. So we'll have here the gas being reduced from pressure 1 to 2. They are also saying that it is expanded at constant pressure. So it means here at constant pressure 2, as said in the question, it is being expanded to here to volume 2 as given in the question so now we drew the sketches of the diagrams now what are they saying in C in which processes is the work done by the gas more so the work done in graphs is equal to the area beneath the graph So let us see in which graphs the area is more. So when we have here this one, this graph, it means the area beneath the graph will be this one. And here the area between the graph will be this one. So which work done is more? Obviously we can see that this work done is greater than the work done in B. So we will say in C, the work done which is done more is work done A. Why? Because the area is more or is greater. Guess in a container is at a pressure of 1.5 atm and a volume of 4 meters cube. What is the work done on the guess? A. If it expands at constant pressure to twice its initial volume, 
and b if it is compressed at constant pressure to one quarter of its initial volume. So we know that the work done is equal to negative p multiplied by the difference in volume. And in the question they give us the pressure as 1.5 atm. They also gave us the volume as 4 meter cube. Now for part A, they're saying if this expands at constant pressure, so the pressure will be the same to its twice its initial val volume. So we have here the initial volume is 4. And then they're saying that it expanded to twice the volume. So it means that we will have V final or the volume final as 8. So now let's just calculate the work done. Now the work done will be equal to negative pressure which is 1.5 but because it is an ATM we have to change it to Pascal by multiplying by 1.01 .01 times 10 power 5. So it multiplied by 1.01 .01 multiplied by the difference in volume. So what is the difference in volume? The difference in volume is equal to V final minus V initial. So here in part A, what do we have V final as? We have V final as 8 minus V initial as 4. So the work done will be equal to negative six zero six zero 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 joules and this here is the work done when it expands and you can also prove it by the sign now for part b in part b they are saying that if the volume is compressed to 1 over 4 of its initial volume. So the initial volume is 4 as given in the question. So 1 over 4 times 4 will be 1. So this here will be the final volume. Now let us calculate the work done. So the work done will be equal to negative 1.5 times 1.01 .01 times 10 power 5 because we need to have it in Pascal multiplied by the difference in volume. So the difference in volume is V final minus V initial. So V final we have here as 1 minus V initial which was 4. So now we will calculate this here and we will get the work done as 454500 zero, zero joules. This is when it's compressed and as you can see the sign is positive. Question number three, determine the work done on a fluid that expands from one from I to F as indicated in figure P12.10 B. How much work is done is done on the fluid if it is compressed from F to I along the same path. So the work done in a PV diagram or in a PV graph is the area beneath the graph. So what will you do? They are saying that they want the work done when it expands from I to F and they are saying that they want the work done from F to I when it compresses from here to here. So we will find the area under the graph and as we know that when it expands 
the work done will be negative so we'll just put negative in front of it and when it's compressed when it's compressed we'll get the work as positive so we'll just put the positive sign in front of the area we can divide this diagram into many parts so let us take this triangle first so we will have here the triangle which has a height of 6 minus 2 which is 4 times 10 power 6 pascal divided by the base which is 3 minus 2 which will give us 1 and it's in meter cube so no need to change so what is the area of this the area of a triangle is half base times height so we'll have here half times base which is 1 times height which is 4 times 10 power 6 this will give us the area as 2 times 10 power 6 so the area of the triangle will be 2 times 10 power 6 we will add these with the other areas now let us find the area of this here rectangle so we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width so the length here will be 6 minus 2 which is 4 times 10 power 6 multiplied by the width which will be this one 2 minus 1 which is 1 so this will give us the area as 4 times 10 power 6 so we will add it here plus 4 times 10 power 6 plus the area which is right over here down which is the area of a rectangle the width of the rectangle will be here 2 times 10 power 6 minus 0 which is 2 times 10 power 6 multiplied by the length which will be this one here so we'll take 4 minus 1 which is 3 so we'll multiply it by 3 which will give us 6 times 10 power 6 so we'll add here 6 times 10 power 6 now we will add these three to get the area so when we add these three we will get the area to be 12 times 10 power 6 meter squared now this is the is the area so for part a they want it when it expands so when it expands the work done is negative so we'll take negative 12 times 10 power 6 meter squared and for part b they want it when it's compressed now when it's compressed we will take the work done as positive so we'll have positive 12 times 10 power 6 meter squared that's it for this question first law of thermodynamics which is that the change of the internal energy is equal to the energy transferred by the heat added by the work done now before we start with this question here let us talk about q q is the energy transferred by heat so when the energy is transferred into the system then Q will be positive but if the energy is transferred out of the system then the Q will be negative so when the energy enters the system it is positive when it leaves the system it is negative ok now that you know that let us start with question number one The gas is compressed at a constant pressure of 0 0.8 atm from 9 liters to 2 liters. In the process, 400 joules of energy leaves the gas by heat. What is the work done on the gas? And B, what is the change in its internal energy? So we are given here a pressure of 0 0.8 atm. So we have to change this into Pascal. 
by multiplying by 1.01 times 10 power 5. And we are given here V initial as 9 liters and we are given V final as 2 liters. So we have to change this into meter cube and this to meter cube by multiplying by 10 power negative 3. Great. We are also given here energy which is transferred by the heat. So the energy transferred by the heat which is Q is given as 400 joules. But because they say that the energy leaves the gas by heat, it means that this is negative. Great. Now they want the work done first. So the work done is equal to negative P multiplied by the difference in volume. The work done would be negative P, the pressure which is 0 0.8 times 1.01 times 10 power 5 Pascal multiplied by the difference in volume which is V final minus V initial. So V final is 2 times 10 power negative 3 minus V initial which is 9 times 10 power negative 3. So this will give us here by calculation 565.6 joules. Now this is for part A. Let us go to part B. In part B, they want the difference or the change in internal energy. So we know that the change in internal energy is equal to the energy transferred by the heat added by the work done. So the change in internal energy will be the energy transferred by the heat which is negative 400 which is negative again why because it leaves the gas added by the work done which is 565.5.6 so this will give us the change in internal energy as One six five point six joules. So jumping to this question, one mole of gas is initially at a pressure of zero of two atm, volume of zero point three liters, and has an internal energy equal to ninety one joule. In its final state, the gas is at a pressure of 1.5 atm and a volume of 0 0.8 liters and its internal energy equals 180 joule for the parts IAF, IBF and IF in the figure P12.22 which is this here. Calculate A the work done on the gas and B the net energy transfer to the gas by heat in the process. So what do they want? First, they want for part A, the work done. Now when we have a graph, the work done is equal to the area under the graph. Now because we can see here that the initial volume was 0 0.3 liters and the final volume was 0 0.8 liters, this means that it has expanded. So because uh, the this here or the graph has expanded or the gas has expanded it means that the work done will be in negative sign okay so let us calculate the work done so for three parts they want for IAF and they want for IBF and they also want for IF so for IAF for IAF we have this graph here this line so from i to a and from a to f so what is the area beneath this graph here or this function here it is this rectangle only so what is the area of the rectangle the area of the rectangle is length times width the width is given as 
1.5 so we'll take here 1.5 and the length we have here as 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 so we'll have here 0 0.5 but what are the units the units here for the length is given in liters and the unit for the width is given in ATM so we have to change this into Pascal and we have to change this into meter cubic so now for the work done the, the work done is the area so the area will be the length which is this one here 0 0.5 liters but we will multiply it by 10 power negative 3 to get meter cube multiplied by the width which is 1.5 atm but you will multiply it by 1.01 .01 times 10 power 5 to get it in pascal so the area will be here 75.7 75 meters squared now this area is the work done so the work done will be 75.75 joule now let us go for part b for part b for ibf we have the graph from here i to here b to here f this here so we'll have to find the work done so we'll find the area beneath it now again this is a rectangle so the area is equal to length times width length is this one here so the length will be from 2 to 0 so it will be 2 multiplied by now because this 2 is an atm we have to change it into pascal by multiplying by 1.01 .01 times 10 power 5 multiplied by the width which is this one here so the width will be from 0 0.8 to 0 0.3 so this will be 0 0.5 when you take 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 now because this is in liters we'll multiply by 10 power negative 3 to get it in meters squared so now when we calculate this we'll get our area to be 101 now this area is the work done so the work done for for IBF is 101 joules okay so let us make some space here so that we can calculate for IF also so we had the work done for IAF as 75.75 joules and for IBF we got 101 joule now let us find for IF now now from the point i here to f what is the work done so you'll see the area beneath the, the function or under the function so we can see here that we have a trapezium so what is the formula for the trapezium the formula for the trapezium is half multiplied by a plus b multiplied by h one side you will call A, one side you will call B, and the height is this here. So we'll have here half multiplied by A, which is 1.5, and because this here is in ATM, or the pressure is in ATM, we'll multiply by 1.01 .01 times 10 power 5 plus b which is this here which is 2 
and because this is an ATM again we'll multiply by 1.01 times 10 power 5 to get it in Pascal all of this is multiplied by the height which is this one here so the height is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 which is 0 0.5 now because this is in liters we would multiply it by 10 power negative 3 to get it in meter squared now let us calculate this this will give us here 88.375 so this here is the work done. Now we'll take it in joule. So for I to F, it is 88.375 joule. Now again, because we say that this area, because the gas is expanding, it means that the work done must be negative. So all of the work done should be negative. So we'll have here negative 75.75 and we'll have here negative 101 joule and we'll have here negative 88.375 joule. Now that's for part A. Let us go to part B. For part B, they want us to find the energy transferred or to the gas by the heat. So to find this we have a formula which is the energy transferred is equal to the difference in internal energy subtracted by the work done. So this is a derived formula. So let us start with IAF. For IAF the energy transferred by the heat would be the difference in internal energy so you can see from the question we are given u final as 180 joule and we are given initial internal energy as 91 joules so to get the difference we will just take the final which is 180 minus the initial which is 91 so this will give us by calculation 89 joules now let us continue now that we have the difference in internal energy as 89 joules let us just substitute the values and we will get our energy from the heat So for IAF, we will have Q is equal to 89 subtracted by the work done by IAF, which is negative 75.75. So this will give us 164.75 joules. Now for IBF, we will do the same thing. We will just put here the work done for the IBF. How much will it be? So the work done is negative 101 joule. So 89 minus negative 1. So this will give us 190 joule here. And for the last one, which is IF, we will get it. When we substitute the value of work done of IF, which is 88, negative 88.375, we will get here 177.375 joule as the energy released from the heat, transferred to the gas by the heat.